Okay, I'm going to show you how to correctly make a DVD that will play in a DVD player using YouTube Downloader and Windows Live Movie Maker. I will also show you how to extract an MP3 file from any music video on YouTube using YouTube Downloader and you can put that on your MP3 player. Alright, you want to start out by finding the video that you want. Click Share scroll down right click on the highlighted address copy it go to your YouTube downloader paste the file download now if this were an mp3 that you want just the music file from when it got when it gets through downloading you would go to convert find your file open it go convert video to and you would choose mp3 that would give you just your mp3 out of the video um, and then you would convert you can set it to go to your video file music files or wherever you want to save it to and convert it and it would strip the video off and all you would have is your mp3 alright now for just making movies you download the video which we've already done that's all you need YouTube downloader for is to download the video itself uh, if you try and make a movie by finding your file like this and click that burn right there you're gonna make a data disk that is only readable by another computer and will not work in a DVD player. In order to take the file that you've downloaded and put onto your computer and make it play in a DVD player, go to Windows Live Movie Maker. I've changed the name Windows Live Movie Maker. Windows Live Movie Maker. First thing you do is go to your project and make sure that it's set to the 16 by 9 wide screen otherwise you're gonna burn a movie in the old standard 4 by 3 format so make sure that the 16 by 9 is selected and you can go back home click here for videos and photos click there go to the location that has your file and open it sometimes this will come up sometimes it won't when it prepares quality for a full video it takes maybe 30 minutes to do so depending on what format it was when you downloaded it off the internet it may or may not do this playback quality thing but don't forget to go to the project and make sure that it's set to 16 by 9 when it gets through you can share all this stuff on Facebook which you don't share movies on Facebook you can post them to YouTube to your circle or to Flickr SkyDrive I believe there's several other options under here but I don't use any of that stuff and uh, as it's preparing the video file when it gets through uh, you will it will be in the correct format for playing in a DVD player and all we will need to do is save the movie in that format but this uh, Windows Live Movie Maker is the only way to format it in the correct format to play in a DVD player as it finishes up there you could check to make sure if you wanted to that your video is all there and mine is you want to go to save movie burn a DVD and name your file and I'm gonna name mine test just for our purposes and enter and it's saving the movie in the correct format to play in your DVD player now when this gets through saving it's going to automatically open up Windows DVD Maker and that will be the last step
as it finishes up there, like I say, it's going to automatically open Windows DVD Maker and just move it out for one second to show you. It said you can play your movie now or open the folder that it's in. That's from Windows Live Movie Maker. Just close that. You can go ahead and exit out of this. You want to save your changes? No. All right. Now we're at Windows DVD Maker, and you have 150 minutes, which is two and a half hours. Anything longer than that, you got to make two discs out of it. Click there. Name your video. Test. Uh, again, with the uh, options for a video format uh, the DVD aspect ratio sometimes is set to 4 by 3 you want to make sure that's 16 by 9 so that it fills your uh, flat screen and that the format is NTSC which is a North American format the others for other countries or whatever um, and we've named our video test made sure our options are correct we'll go to next and there it is and you can uh, burn it at this time you can choose different um, starting screens different layouts for starting screens how it would look um, and then you would go ahead and click burn and I'll do so but I don't have a disk in my drive to burn this to and it'll say so but all you need is your blank disk and then you'd be burning your movie uh, I hope this was easy to understand and, and you could follow along with me. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free to, to uh, you know, contact me and let me know. But uh, maybe this, uh, this helped you out where you can get your, uh, your videos playing in, uh, in your DVD player. If you need any help, give a holler.